Esau and these other nations, all right? Mainly Esau and these other nations, all right? David prayed that, man. Go to uh, Sirach chapter 41, verse 5 through 11. Okay. Sirach chapter 45. 41. 41 verse 5. Yeah. The children of sinners are, a, are an abominable children. Yeah, so Esau is an abomination, man. Keep reading. They and they that are con converse. Conversing. Conversing in the dwelling of the ungodly. Yep. The inheritance of sinners, children shall perish, and their prosperity shall have posterity. And their posterity shall have perpetual reproach. Their children, their posterity. All right, it so said their prosperity shall be cut short, man. Their prosperity is here in America, man. All right, keep reading. The children will complain of ungodly of, of an ungodly father. Yeah, so when we bring out uh, information about what was done to the Native Americans, the Latinos, so-called Negroes, all right, the Irish, the Scottish, the Wales, all right, and who did it, they have to get reproached now. Because they like to say, well, that was my father, so, or, or, or that was them back there. That doesn't affect me. Yeah, it does, because you are going to pick up their tab because... On a, on a spiritual level, that's you. You're just coming back. Can you read it? Because they have reproached for the sake. Yeah, so they're going to be reproached for the deeds of their forefathers. Can you read it? Woe be unto you, ungodly men, yep. which have forsaken the law of the Most High. And that's America. Because twice, twice they declared uh, the Bible as the law of the land, or the year of the Bible. 1983 with Ronald Reagan when he signed it into the law okay which legally we have the right to come out here and read from the scriptures and condemn this place according to the Bible because it's part of the law of the land one two they uh they declared this year 2012 as the year of the Bible but America doesn't respect the Bible okay and they don't operate under the laws of the Heavenly Father so the scriptures say war unto them Q reader for if ye increase, it shall be to your destruction. Yeah, so they're going, because they increase it in wickedness, or increase it in numbers for their destruction, keep reading. And if ye be born, ye shall be born to curse, to a curse. Yep, to a curse. That's, that's when a curse is split. And if ye die, a curse shall be your portion. Yep. All that are of the earth shall turn to the earth again. Uh -huh. So the ungodly shall go from a curse to uh, destruction. Yeah, from a curse to destruction. Okay. All right. The mourning of men is about their body, and an ill name of sinners shall be blotted out. That's right. Go to Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. That's an Islam nigga right there. Look how he's striving. He looked like one of them niggas that was on that uh, the thing when Far Farrakhan was speaking and he was standing in the background like this. Yep. I was like, yo, man. Okay. Isaiah 14 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Yeah, so that's, that's going to be the judgment, man. Because you're going to reap what you sow. The Lord said prepare slaughter for them. For the iniquities of their fathers. That's why the scriptures speak about America going out in a violent manner because that's how it was established. Alright? Damn, she let the dog shit over here. Let's kind of wrap it up. That they do not <laughs> rise, nor possess the land, yeah. nor fill the faces of the world with sin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, we could we think we should speak through this, because uh, we read a couple of these, just read it real quick, and then wrap it up. Yeah, go to 2 Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse uh, 6. Alright, so that's plain. 
That's point. Yeah, I think she looked like dog shit over there. I'm sorry, man. We be having some fun sometimes when we be out here, but, you know, because stuff just happens. You be, like, talking, oh, they go somebody else with the dog. Some people pick they, sh they dog shit up, but others just let it sit there. So the second Thessalonians? Yeah, chapter 1, yeah. verse 6. Second Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse 6. Yep. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the most side to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Yep. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. That's right. When the Lord, Yahweh Shah, shall be revealed from heaven with... Are oh, you going to keep on going? Nah. Oh, okay. Go to Colossians 3 and 25. That's right, so it's a righteous thing for the Lord to recompense tribulation on those that troubled us. And that's coming. Which YouTube, you know, they took down that video when we broke it down, the Lord's coming to destroy this wicked ass place. It set it asunder with the missiles, all right? But you know, to hell with YouTube, man. Colossians chapter three, verse 25. Yep. But, but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. And there is no respect of persons. That's right. Go to Galatians chapter 5, verse 10. That's right. The Lord, and that, that proves that. Because the Lord said he's going to recompense the iniquities of the fathers upon the children. And that he's not going to quit the wicked or clear the guilty. And you're guilty. Galatians chapter 5, verse 10. Galatians chapter 